Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to teach you web designing or how to make a website. Uh, guys, we have two kinds of websites, uh, static and also dynamic. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to teach you how to make a static website. The static websites are those websites which are not, uh, which, is, which does not contain any database. Uh, for example, if you open your browser and just uh, write a domain, for example, google.com, this is going to show you a web page. That is one page that is called web page. But when it comes to many web pages, uh, so that becomes a website. Website is the collection of many web pages. So guys, we will talk about static and dynamic also later. And also we are going to talk about the uh, developer types, what kind of developer we have, front end versus back end coding. We are going to work with HTML and CSS and also JavaScript. And we are going to make uh, some websites through example. So let's get started. Developer types. Actually, we have front end developer, those who are working uh, with the front end, uh, just uh, for the view, how it's, go it's going to be uh, designed to the user. This is the front end developer. They, they, uh, they only use the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Bootstrap these things, but backend developer are those developers who are going to work with database and also handling those uh, uh, those uh, requests from clients. And the full stack developer is the only developer that contains both. They are going to work also uh, on front end and also back end. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to teach you uh, how to become a front end developer. So, guys, uh, we have st static pages and also dynamic pages. Static pages are those pages just, uh, for example, you're going to uh, open your browser and just type google.com. That page is a static page because you are not going to log in or anything else. So that's only a static page. Or there are some other uh, pages, uh, web pages that you are going to open it in the browser and that is actually only a page for displaying you uh, some text or images or other things they are static pages but when it comes to the dynamic pages they are actually uh, having databases in backend and whenever you request whenever you want to log in so there need to be ha there, is, uh, there need to be a database so that is dynamic pages uh, for example here we have a server uh, which is going to uh, have our domains uh, if you're going to request for example you're going to write google.com that is your request to the server to the main server which is the internet and whatever comes to you is the re response of the server which is going to be just only a page there only be or it might be many pages but there are static websites a static website is a group of self-contained individual pages sent to the browser from the server one page at a time only one page will be sent at a time so this uh, when it comes to .NET and SQL databases, this is going to, and also HTML, this is going to be a dynamic website. Uh, for example, Facebook. This is a dynamic website because you need to log in you know, for going to pressing the like button or sharing or uh, commenting. You, you only need to have a account so you uh, you are actually accessing a dynamic website so dynamic web content is built when it's requested by the user directly or prog programmatically while a user is on a page for example Facebook is so most websites contain both static and dynamic elements so this is also an example can I have a web page please when you are typing a domain in your browser and 
you're just pressing enter so you actually send a request then if it was a dynamic so it's going to go through the database of that domain and uh, there will be a response from the server and it's going to just send you the front end first which is the html css and javascript together so what are the server side or client side server side actually uh, we are going to have some pro programs uh, just like php or asp.net they are server side programs uh, and the client side there is only html css javascript bootstrap these things which is also called as backend and frontend backend is used by uh, server side and frontend client side so client side or front end coding includes html css and javascript this just means that our code will be downloaded from the server and then compiled entirely in the browser uh, so guys uh, here is the server which is which is including .NET, .ASB, sql see these these things are the, our server and browser there is only a page and uh, which contains only paragraphs images uh, texts these things and that is html and those styles which you are going to give uh, you are going to change the color we are going to give some styles that is related to the css just getting a style sheet and uh, you are going to give some effects that's going to be used by javascript you have to use javascript to give some effects so guys let's go through the html css and javascript and also if we have time i'm going to teach you uh, somehow about the uh, bootstrap <clears throat> so we have three layers of web design a structure what things are actually contained in your web page for example there is a paragraph there is a heading there is an image there is a mm, table these things these are related to your html this is the structure part what structure or what things your web page has so style style you are going to change the color you are going to change the font you are just increasing the font so these are related to your css which is your style the website that you are going to give some style behavior uh, for example you are going to click a button that is going to of course button is uh, uh, part of the structure you are going to use html to bring a button and uh, you're going to give some style to this button color and uh, over these things and behavior whenever you click it what will happen these things or uh, when you are you when you want to uh, have a slideshow in your web page that's going to be related to the javascript so this is actually uh, what structure and behavior and style means here actually the structure part when you are going to make a building the structure part is actually going to be an example of html for example in html you're going to make paragraphs images and uh, buttons these things this is actually a structure when you are going to give some style to this this is going to be a css part and the last part which you are going to give some behaviors to your uh, structure and size this is going to be the javascript part so guys this is uh, just uh, the amazon website this is actually how three there is three parts we have the html part which is the text headings hyperlinks images these things these are all related to the html part and when you're going to give some styles you're going to change the font these things this is related to the css and some core uh, some uh, slideshows or other parts there or when you just going to the 
department part what will be displayed they are related to the javascript so we will learn later uh, so guys this is another oh let's just go through the html what actually html is html is hypertext class markup language you are going to um, bring uh, text you are going to bring headings to your web page you are going to bring some images these things these are actually the html part and i'm going to give an example i'm just going to uh, make uh, the web page in the next lecture so guys uh, this was the first lecture and uh, please subscribe our channel and also uh, share it to your friends so guys see you in the next lecture